So you're thinking about making a move right here to McKinney, Texas. Money Magazine is one of the best places to, or the best place to live in all of America and be one of the best neighborhoods and most underrated neighborhoods at that. We are out here in one of the most incredible communities that I have been to and I've helped tons of families move here. And lots of people that are looking out in other communities end up buying here for many reasons. We're gonna cover all those in these videos, but before we do, we're gonna show you multiple incredible homes here today and one that we have never shown on this channel and they just opened up and they are a customizable home builder. So the first one we're gonna be checking out is this gorgeous Perry home on a 60 foot lot. It is a massive one story with soaring ceilings, beautiful long entryway and so much to offer for you and your family. So make sure you stick around because we're getting after it right now. So today we're getting our tour started with a beautiful Perry home. This particular model is the 2944 floor plan. If you didn't know what that means, that is the square footage of this home. So Perry will basically set the number to the square footage and that is your floor plan. Keep it nice and simple and you know how big the home is. But this home is a four bed, three bath, game room, office, and basically has everything you need and it is all on one floor. These are gonna be 60 foot wide lots. You're gonna have a nice wide and long footprint. So we're right here at the front of the homes. We're gonna have eight foot doors throughout this house, very tall ceilings, nice and wide open. The large one story floor plans are a little bit harder to find and that's why I absolutely love them. You don't have to worry about stairs with kids. So we are in here in the office space. Of course, you can make this into whatever you want, but most of you are gonna use it in office as many of you are working from home or remote nowadays. But we've got these beautiful eight foot glass doors right here, bringing some more natural light from the front. And then huge windows throughout this entire house. So we've got a massive window right here that's almost floor to ceiling. So it looks like 11, 12 foot ceilings in this room right here. So you're gonna see some very, very grand open floor plans if you ever do look at the Perry home. So we've got the nice modern glass door, eight foot doorway right here, an extra window up top. And then one of uh, Perry's signatures is these long, wide entryways, almost like a bowling alley, uh, not a bowling alley, but you know what I mean, just really long and wide. And they've got these nice uh, cutouts up top. A lot of people put wood inserts, beams, whatever you wanna do, you have the possibilities to do so, but it looks very, very good. Now over here on this side, this is gonna be your first two bedrooms in the house. So we're gonna start here in the front. You're going to have a nice oversized bathroom right here. A really nice little bedroom, two massive windows right here. Of course, like I said, we've got the eight foot doors everywhere in this house. Nice modern type of carpet, not the shag carpet that we're used to. And a decent size walk-in closet right here. And once again, we've got the 12 foot ceilings in this room. So it makes it feel, even though it's not a really wide, long room, it's gonna feel really grand when you walk in here. Here is the bathroom. I believe these two will be sharing. So nice, you got a nice little privacy door right here. Uh, floor to ceiling tile in there, the tub shower combo. If you wanted to make that just a shower, of course you're gonna be able to do that with a Perry home. And then your additional bedroom right here, uh, really nice size, probably about the same size as the other one, a little bit smaller window and about the same size walk-in closet. So really cool setup, separation from the main entryway, uh, gonna be able to keep a lot of that noise out uh, when people come over. And then we've got nice darker hardwood floors that you just don't really see very often anymore. Now right here is gonna be the sales rep's office. This is going to be your three car tandem garage. So it, it's gonna look like a two car, but it's gonna be a three car garage when you walk in. You got a little mud bench here. This is where you're walking in. Mud bench, additional storage all over this house, which is really nice. And then it continues to even get wider. Two more additional storage closets and then your media room. So everybody loves media rooms down here in Texas. A lot of people that come out of state always ask us why we have media rooms everywhere because we love them, we love sports, we love movies, and you can tuck it all in one spot. If you got kids, you can stuff all the kids' toys in here, and it's nice to keep it out of the way of the house. But really cool setup. You're gonna have surround sound speakers in here. You're gonna be able to do all kinds of things that you wanna do. 
And then they've actually put some barn wood or barn doors in here, which is really cool little feature, saves some space uh, and looks really cool. Now that we've made it finally through this very long entryway, we've got our main living space, dining, informal dining. It's gorgeous and even the ceiling height is even taller in here, it's crazy. But this is one of my uh, favorite features of this particular floor plan is that your ensuite is in the middle of the house, but it's down this very long hallway. So it's separated from everybody, all the noise. You could have a party going on in here and your grandparents could be sleeping over there and not be bothered. So uh, here's your laundry space. We've got some crazy tile in here. You're gonna have lots of selections with Perry Homes, but a nice size laundry space, additional space for cabinetry or storage or refrigerator more storage right here that is a very skinny door and then here is your ensuite bedroom which is really really nice so similar size to the other two bedrooms that we did see but you're going to have your own bathroom which is really really nice right here so oversized vanity here a step down shower um, if you want to do the frameless glass make it look a little classier you can do that for a small fee and then you're gonna have a walk-in closet over here as well not huge, but a really, really nice setup, cozy space, and it tucked away from absolutely everything else, as you can see as I walk down here. So most of the time, bedrooms are right off of the main hallway. You can hear everything, but this is far enough away to keep out all the noise. But this is where it really gets exciting, opens up, and looks, looks absolutely gorgeous. Just take a look at the size of these windows right here. It is an overcast, cloudy spring day here in Texas, and we've still got tons of natural light going on. Plenty of space for at least a 10 foot table heat right here. No problem. This is like an entertainer's dream, this house right here, uh, because we've got windows everywhere. We've got seating everywhere. Everybody can talk to one another all in one space. You've got the uh, gas fireplace right here, which is a nice setup. Just flip a switch, you've got your gas, and it actually does put out a little bit of heat more than you would think. And then the tile that goes at to the top right here, that's something you could do. And then if you are building from the ground up, um, I always recommend if you have the money to do so, put some sliders in. If you don't have the money at the time, you can do it later. Uh, but it just adds so much uh, to the house, makes it look you know, more high end, brings in so much natural light and just gives you another exit to the back patio. And you can put some drop down screens back there, keep all the bugs out and then have one big, huge living area or entertainment space. So here's the kitchen space right next to the main living and you got a little eat-in uh, dining or kitchen area right there. Um, but nice oversized, um, island, I'm about to, I'm losing my mind. You got a nice oversized island right here. You got the quartz countertops. You got the nice little glass inserts right here if that's something you'd wanna do. If you wanna carry you to the top of the ceiling with your cabinets, you should have no problem to do so. This community does have gas. You got a nice uh, size uh, vena hood. So if you do like to cook, it's all gonna be sucked out to the outside. So no worries right there. And your traditional corner pantry, which is uh, about typical out here in Texas of what you're gonna see. And then if you need uh, two ovens, that's not gonna be a problem whatsoever so a uh, really nice setup i like how they brought the refrigerator and the cabinets to be level with one another a lot of times you're going to see the cabinets way back in the back and just have a bunch of dust and stuff collect at the top of the fridge for a taller guy like me that's something that i could see and it kind of bothers me so really cool entertainment space you're eating kitchen area right here they've got a nice little round table you could put a square table and fit a few more people and you'll notice you've got windows all throughout as, as well as going out to the back patio space. So this would be a really good spot to eat breakfast or anything like that, but if you have more people over or if you like to have a larger space, you can do so and eat right across the room right there. But before we get to the master retreat back there, I wanna go outside and show you what this back patio space has to offer. Now we're gonna check out this sweet backyard, but first I'm gonna open this really cool sliding glass door. So really cool entertainment space, well oversized patio compared to the most, or most of the homes you're gonna see out here. But the really cool feature as well is you've actually, they put tile out here instead of the regular, just plain old concrete. So if you want tile, make it look a little classier, you can do so. Plenty of space out here for an outdoor kitchen. They've got your gas connection right here. 
tons of lighting. If you want to bring the surround sound out here, you can do so as well. There's going to be plenty of room out here for a pool, whatever you want to do. They've added a ton of landscaping, which eats up kind of a lot of the backyard. So it's not necessary, but this is a model home. And one other feature, if you are looking to do something like a slider and you like to entertain outside, I would recommend getting these drop down shades and I can get you connected with my guy and he can do that very, very quickly. So this is what a 60 foot wide lot is gonna look like. They're gonna have 45, 50 and 60 foot lots as well as a few oversized lots. But you gotta realize that the larger the lot, the larger the home, the higher the price. And we're gonna get the pricing here in just a little bit. All right, now that you've seen the back patio space, we're gonna head into the master retreat back here, tucked away in the corner. Notice that you've got a really cool coffee bar set up right here outside of your bedroom, which is really cool, as well as this nice long window. So coffee bar set up, whatever you wanna make it. They also make this an additional pantry space as well. So if that corner pantry isn't big enough, you can add additional storage right here and they put some doors on it, which is really cool. So. Here is your master retreat. We've got three huge windows over there. A really cool backdrop right here. I don't know who did this, but it looks really, really nice. We've got the beams up top. We've got surround sound in here, the really cool chandelier. If you're somebody moving here and you're not from Texas, the chandeliers look really cool, but you're gonna want a fan, especially here in the summertime. They've added this really cool barn door as well, which is an additional feature that you could add. And then check out this awesome bathroom. So we've got a really cool modern tub, uh, standalone tub. I really haven't seen very many of that style, which is really cool. And then a little corner shower right here. That is a nice size. You've actually got uh, a little bench seating area here as well. We've got a lot of black and white, gray and gold. So all the colors combined together look really, really nice. And it's a nice wide open bathroom, which I really like. So let's see what they got working for closet. We got three doors to choose from here. So wish me luck. All right. So here's your, here's your closet. I'm assuming there's going to be two closets. This is a nice size closet if there is two, but if it's only one, it's going to be a pretty small closet, but I assume they're going to have two. So let's check out what's in door number two. Boom. His closet because it's smaller. So you know, we get the shaft there. We don't get the, there's plenty of size, or it's plenty of space for us guys. We can use some of their, their closet space as well. So, and then you got your towels. So, plenty of storage in here. Nice setup, nice wide, bright bathroom. Like I said, it is a cloudy, cloudy day. So now that you've seen this home, let's talk about pricing. So this particular home is going to be in the low 700s. Now realize this is on the largest lot. So if you want to get in the 45s, 50s, you're going to be in the high fours, 500s, and some of the larger homes are going to be in the 600s. So there's lots of variety of prices and things to choose from, from around 2,500 square feet to over 4,000 square feet. So. Before we head over to our next absolutely insane home, make sure if you haven't already contacted me and you're thinking about moving here now or a year from now, don't be shy. Give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. I would love to help you and your family make a smooth move to Dallas. Now let's talk a little bit more about this insane community called Trinity Falls. This community has it all. If you are a family looking for a place to get to know people and have fun and never have to leave the neighborhood, this might be the place for you. We've just got the second one of two amenity centers built right down the street here. It's got a fitness center. It's got playgrounds. It's got splash pads, pools, everything that you possibly need. You're going to have parks all over the place out here, walking trails, Frisbee golf, you name it, it is going to be here in this community. They even have a director of fun. So definitely one of my favorite and most underrated neighborhoods. They just are about to open up Melissa Road, which is gonna be another major access into the neighborhood, make it really easy to get in and out. And it's gonna be right next to a brand new HEB being completed very, very soon. And you've got Bucky's right next to it. So are you talking about an amazing location? And I forgot to mention, commercial is going right down to the south end of this neighborhood. So you're gonna have restaurants, 
shopping, dining, and you don't even have to get on the highway for it. So talk about incredible and way better than so many neighborhoods that people hype up about. But the next home we're gonna be checking out is this gorgeous Dries Custom Home. They just opened up with some new lots that have been, we've been waiting quite some time for them to get available. So you can build your dream home and they have a handful of specs if you need to move a little bit quicker, but I think you're really gonna like it. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now we're gonna be checking out a Dries Custom Home here in Trinity Falls. This is a model I have never shown out here because they have been sold out for quite some time, but they are back ready to build you your dream home. And there are some spec homes available, right? And this house is the Park Hill. Starts at 2,600 square feet and goes up to about 3,700 square feet. Four bed, four bath, game room everything you want room. So you're gonna love this home. This model has been around for a while, but they are back in action and they are gorgeous. So right at the front of the house, you're gonna have a beautiful eight foot glass door. You're gonna have your first bathroom right off of a bedroom right at the front. So a really nice long bathroom, got the dark tile. There's a lot of dark tones in this house. Like I said, this has been around for a little while. So some of the stuff is even more updated than what you're going to see here. And these are custom homes. They can build you and do a whole lot more than a lot of builders out there. So we've got, it looks like 10 foot ceilings in here, nice size window, walk-in closet right here. And the uh, nice carpet once again with a little bit lighter mid-tone hardwood floors here. Now right here is going to be your three car garage. These are gonna be on 60 foot lots as well. Three car garage, and right now that is the office space, but we've got nice little cutout similar to what we saw next door. Not as long of an entryway, but you're gonna have stairs here, as well as a nice little feature for your dog. They've got a little dog room, check that out. Super unnecessary, but super awesome at the same time. So Fido's gonna have his own bedroom. So I guess you could technically call it a five bed. Um, and then this is going to be your office space. Of course, if you wanted to close this in, put some barn doors, or just some solid corridors to keep it nice and quiet, you're gonna be able to do so in here. But two nice windows right here, and this is a pretty large room. You could probably make it into an additional dining space or game room if you wanted to as well, but you got the upstairs with a lot of action and things going on up there as well. So here you are in the main living spaces where it really opens up. It is a gorgeous oversized gas fireplace over here, entertainment space here, and this is a vaulted ceiling with beams throughout. So it's really, really nice setup. When you walk in here, it's got a really nice grand feeling. We've got really wide windows here in the back. Once again, this is a dark, cloudy spring day here in Texas, but we're still getting tons of natural light in here, but it just feels really classy in here. I don't know if you know what I'm saying there, but um, really nice oversized kitchen space, tons of countertop space. Once again, nice size uh, gas stove with your KitchenAid Vena hood here. And then a very similar setup that we saw next door where you've got the uh, fridge and everything that lines up perfectly with the cabinets. Let's see what we got working with for the pantry space. A little bit bigger pantry than what we saw next door. It's got like an auto closed door. You don't really see that too much but we're gonna go, we're gonna check out this way real quick and see what we got working with here. So here is an additional bedroom. This is a very nice size bedroom, by the way. Uh, much bigger than the last one we just saw. A little window out here in the corner. Got oversized furniture everywhere and still plenty of space. So this is basically uh, going to be an ensuite bathroom or ensuite bedroom right here. Um, so you're gonna have lots of possibilities what you do with this space and then a really nice size walk-in closet right there as well. And this is really gonna blow you away is the laundry space in here. So this is going to be where you come in from, uh, you're gonna have two, it looks like two exits, I don't know, uh, from your three car garage, but check out this laundry space. This is huge, you got your additional fridge, nothing, got some uh, leftover lunch in there, but tons of cabinet space. Um, Plenty of space for storage, whatever. And you've got a nice little oversized sink right here to throw your shoes in, clean whatever, but a really nice size setup. A lot bigger than the most of the laundry spaces you see out here in Texas. I know most of the homes we show in this price point have the very small 
uh, small laundry rooms. So one more look at this gorgeous main entertaining, beautiful space right here, cabinets everywhere. And then your eat-in kitchen with looks like it's got an eight foot table here, plenty of space to spare. Um, and your nice uh, modern windows throughout, just bringing in more natural light. Well, so let's go check out what's going on outside. All right, now we're here in the backyard patio space. We've got an oversized patio back here, not as big as the other one. We don't have the pretty tiles, but if you wanna do that, you're gonna have the possibility to do so. Once again, your gas connection right here to hook up a, a grill, gas kitchen, whatever you wanna do, and not have to take a trip to the store for a propane tank. Now, we've got a ton going on out here as far as landscaping. It may not be your style. We've got the fire pit right here, but you're gonna have plenty of room out of here. If this was all grass, you're gonna be able to put a place set, a pool, and still have plenty of room for the dogs out here. So this is a 65 or 60 foot lot. There are gonna be a few oversized lots out here to build on as well. Now let's check out the rest of the downstairs, which is gonna be the master bedroom and the master bathroom. Now it's gonna be tucked away in the corner in the back, just like normal. We've got a nice oversized room, recessed ceiling right there, and it is a nice dark, moody green in here. So not everybody's style, but it, you know, you can paint your room whatever color you would like. So we've got three nice size windows over there. It's a nice long bedroom, much longer than it is wide, but a really good size. And they've carried the wood floors in here as well, which I really like. And then here is the master bath. We've got two separated vanity spaces. We're gonna have a much larger vanity over here. Huge soaker tub. If you want a standalone tub, you're gonna be able to do that. And then a nice frameless glass shower that I absolutely love right here. It is a really good size. You've got the bench seating right here. The tile carried all the way to the top. Just gives it a really nice classy feel. And let's check out how large our closet is right here. So a really nice size closet. Uh, I've got two spots for your shoes and I like how they utilize all the space by carrying up all the way to the top of the ceiling to store as much stuff as possible. Now let's go check out upstairs. Now we're cutting up these beautiful wood stairs that they've carried all the way up into the second floor for the main living spaces. So you're not gonna have one, but you're gonna have two flex rooms here. One of them you're gonna be able to close off if you want to, to make it into a, a media room. So nice size, uh, flex space, game room, whatever you wanna make it room right here, right off of the stairs, plenty of space for tons of people to hang out. And you've got this nice little step up into the next room here. So they've turned this into basically uh, TV room, lounge area. Like I said, if you want to close that off, I'm sure that's something that you could do. But this is also a very, very large room here, but all in one spot and just a little bit of separation with the stairs, which I really like, and plenty of room for lots of people. Now, there's only one bedroom up here. So whoever's living up here is living large. You've got tons of room to yourself over here. A little dark bathroom here, um, but nice little setup. You're gonna have one bedroom using this bathroom, so it's plenty big for that. And then your last bedroom up here, which is huge <laughs> compared to the other bedrooms down there besides the master. So we've got two windows on the side, but this is a very, very wide bedroom. They've got furniture everywhere. They've got a seating area over here. So like I said, if you're, if you're living up here by yourself, you're doing very, very well. And a really nice size walk-in closet as well. So you're living the dream right here. And then you have attic, act space, full door uh, right there as well. So a really, really cool setup. Now, if you're wondering about pricing, this particular home is gonna start at 678,000. As of the making of this video, I said this is up to 3,700 square feet. So a very big house on a nice size lot. So these homes are gonna be in the 600s up into the 800s and beyond depending on what you do to the house. Cause like I said, these are custom homes. You're gonna be able to do a ton to them. Some people spend 20 grand, some people spend 200 grand. It all depends on the person, but there's lots of select styles to choose from. And pretty much anybody is going to have something that they're gonna love. So you've seen two incredible homes. We talked about this neighborhood. Let's talk a little bit more about location. We're out here in McKinney, Texas, Money Magazine's best places to live in all of America and for good reason. We've got just over uh, about over 200,000 people here now. So definitely not a small town anymore, but it's gonna have absolutely everything to offer. Like I said, this place is right off of Highway 75. You're gonna have quick access to 
grocery stores, shopping and dining, and everything is coming up this way. So if you think prices are high now, just wait a few years. There is so much coming here and so much to offer. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you wanna check out another uh, beautiful home out here in this community, check out this home right here. We've got communities on 40 foot lots, 50 foot lots, 60 and 70 foot lots coming here very soon. So choices and price ranges for absolutely everybody and so much to offer. So I hope you enjoyed today's tour. Remember, if you're thinking about moving here, give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. I'd love to help you and your family make a smooth move to Dallas. Can't wait to see you around town.